Hey Rat Bags, today I'm going to show you guys where all the Science Outposts are in the upper yard, the brand new ones that got added, including one of the most fiendish ones, how to get the one that's in the brick wall climbing the vines. So leave a like, make sure you're subscribed, and let me show you how to get a milk molar, as well as another location for moths on top of the wheelbarrow first. Let's go. So you need to find the two vines that are sticking out the ground to the left of the wheelbarrow when looking at the wall. If you keep going left, you'll find a couple more that stick out, but it's these two that we've got to stay close to when trying to ascend. So put a marker down just to keep track as well and jump on top of this one. Head up left, keeping the brick wall on the right hand side. Jump on top of this stalk right here and go along to the edge here. Now you've got a bit more height, you should be able to land onto this stalk and then you should be able to land on this second branch. There may be other ways, but this is the way that I did it. Go all the way up, keep going up, but we've got to go back on ourselves a little bit. So now you can turn around and we're going to jump on top of this leaf and then we're going to go ahead and keep jumping across these leaves. You can just jump straight up onto one of these leaves if you feel confident, but what we're really aiming for is this particular corner of where the stalk and the leaf meet. You will be able to do it, but it's a bit tricky as you can sometimes overshot it and then land on it like that. Then you've got to simply just jump up it's at this point I would save your game as this is probably the easiest thing to get to and then the rest will get a bit harder. So hop up sideways to the left, then the right and then you should be able to turn around walk to the edge of this one and we're going to jump onto this branch here using our tuft. Obviously it goes without saying bring a couple tufts as I'm doing this with no damage on just to show you guys but you'll take lots of damage obviously if you fall. Now you're on this leaf we're going to jump onto this one and we're going to jump onto this highest one. We're going to have to actually swing over to these two leaves here. Now I tried a bunch of times to swing onto the tallest leaf but you can never really get on top of it so instead you aim for this one instead. This way it gets really tricky, you can easily get knocked off when trying to jump up here and when you jump sometimes you'll fall all the way down. So once again with that save point we hop left, we hop right, we turn around and if you really want you can go up the branch a little bit more to get that bit of height then go along this stalk here and then go along here and then you should be able to jump on the leaf, same difference. It, Basically, you just got to get across to that leaf without falling off. You can even go ahead and get a little bit more height if you want. You can try walking across the bricks, but there will be a gap that you'll end up falling down, so you can't really go past it. So again, you can show you can't really get on it straight away, and this is where we need to get on. We need to get onto this branch, so we've got to get on this leaf that's right above us right now. There is a small, tiny area where you can grab on and then just walk up. So aim towards, I would say, the corner of it, but don't obviously hit the ceiling. I might be making this look easy, it took me over 45 minutes to do this. I was absolutely losing my shizzle every time I dropped off. But then you can jump on top of this leaf and then it's a simple case of jumping on top of this branch. But be careful, if you jump too far, that happens. So back at this leaf again, hop onto this one and this is a good point to make sure you save the game. So from here instead go to the right hand side of the leaf, jump on this one again and this time don't jump too far against that wall just here and then clamber up a little bit hopping over some of these stalks. That's about as high as you're gonna get. Use the camera mode to focus and check where you're going the right way. You can see this actual vine is going too high now. We need to get across to the one over the other side. So if you try climbing as high as you can, you might not be able to get on top of that branch. So what you're meant to do is turn around and actually go onto this one instead. From here, you're gonna turn left behind you or get, rotate the camera, and then that way you can jump on top of this leaf and then jump onto the next one. Good luck if you found another way, but I found this the easiest. Then you jump inside the wall, just keep walking along all sides and you should get to a point where you can now jump on the big broad leaf here on the right hand side. The rest of these jumps are relatively easy compared to what we just did. Jump on top of this one then jump on top of this one and then you should be able to go ahead and get inside that branch. And there you go, I've made it look super easy in 4 minutes, but like I said that took me like 40. There's the moth sleeping, there's a whole ton of rust up here as well. And it's not a bad little view from up here. All you've got to do now is just jump down onto the wheelbarrow. If this is somehow the first time you're coming across a moth so far, don't worry, as long as you don't hurt them, they'll leave you alone. Then you can use the leaf to jump on the strut here. And actually, if you look down on the right-hand side strut, you will see the milk molar that is in that little corner. So you're going to have to tough down to get it. But not yet, we got stuff still to do. You can see there's a whole bunch of rust here as well on the side, so you might as well gather that. Or if it falls to the floor, just remember to go and pick it up afterwards. 
Now go up the right hand side handle facing the wall and you'll get to the top here. Now obviously I built up here before showing you some other stuff in other videos and showing this location a while ago. But this is the legit way to do it without needing any building materials. And it doesn't look like it but you will be able to make it on top of this platform. I thought it would be a little bit too high hence why I used to build that one there. But no you can actually get on. Now it is buildable. You could make this your little little base if you really wanted to. I'll bet it'd be a bit tough getting up here on a regular basis unless you have built some sort of zip line or something that you can get up super quick. If it all goes wrong, again, just try again. You saw there, I nearly failed and I would have cried if I had to redo all of that. But we did it. We made it to the science outpost. There's nothing else here. There's no extra loot, no scabs, no nothing. It's just one place to help scan the rest of the yard. So now you'll be able to pick up anything within that distance. Okay, so you might as well just start dropping down. You can actually travel the length of the bricks if you want to make sure you get down safely, just in case you happen to have gone through one of your gliders. This is another way that you'll be able to do it. You won't take too much damage if you land on the right bricks this way. Keeping the brick wall to the right hand side, keep going all the way to the top corner and you will encounter maybe a wolf spider and obviously lots of pine cones, but this is where the next outpost is going to be. So there you go, right in that corner. Maybe one of the easiest to find is the one that's outside the toolbox or the tire. You can see the tire on the map so it really shouldn't be too hard to find. So it's just to that right hand side of that tire. Dangers though you'll have to watch out for are all weavers as well as lots of fire red ants around this part. When you come out of science pod if you actually turn around and go south a little bit south east you go through the jungle areas here but this will lead you directly to the next outpost. You should find the body of girth yoke or yoked girth and you'll know you're heading in the right direction. Go underneath his arm and keep going a bit more to his left past one of the entrances to the red ant hill and up this little rock here and you should see it in the distance hiding behind all the jungle. It's very close to the stone slabs. Go and check out my five places you should visit video to see exactly where you should be going around that area for more mega milks and lots of upgrade materials. Then the next one is all the way over by the shed. It's on the side of it, just in between the wall, obviously, and the Java Matic. And we're actually back at the wheelbarrow for the last one. You should have found this by now. Hopefully, it's in between the hedge and the upper yard pond. So from the wheelbarrow, I'm just showing you it's this direction. You can cling to the wall, keep it on the left-hand side. You will have to maybe deal with maybe some mosquitoes along the way, maybe some red ants, and maybe some of the uh, ticks. This gravelly area here also has some of the ladybird larvae as well. This pod is right outside the Black Widow entrance. You'd also come across a Black Ox beetle as well. So they're the dangers, the main ones right outside here. And there you go, that should give you almost all the coverage. There's one more in the pagoda, but it's an old one, and that'll give you full coverage for the upper yard. If that's been useful, leave a like, check out the rest of my grounded guides, and I'll see you right back soon.